This short video describes the Ludloff medial approach open reduction in the management of dislocations and developmental hip dysplasia. Open reduction is indicated should there be a failure of closed treatment. The Ludloff procedure is a simple procedure that is the most direct approach to the obstacles of reduction for DDH. It is appropriate for infants under the age of about 15 months. There are three basic medial approaches. There's the Iowa approach, which is shown in blue, more anterior, the Ludloff in red, more direct, the Ferguson more posterior as shown in green. The infant is positioned on a towel for the procedure and the leg or legs are draped free. One can do an orthogram which will often show the obstacles of reduction. For instance, the yellow showing the limbus, the iliopsoas tendon coursing here to the lesser trochanter, the tight capsule showing underneath in orange, the ligamentum teres showing this structure here which is elongated and often hypertrophied, and the pulvinar at the base of the acetabulum, fibro fatty tissue, and the transverse acetabular ligament. Make the skin incision transversely. It leaves nearly an invisible scar which is much nicer than the longitudinal scar that are usually suggested. Center it just over the adductor longus tendon and just distal to the uh, inguinal crease. Open the fascia longitudinally. Make the approach by finger dissection and not by visualization. You can easily get lost here. You use the lesser trochanter as a point of palpation. It's easy to find and go directly there and with finger dissection open up the area and then replace retractors to visualize the hip region. The reduction takes several steps. First of all, become oriented. Think of where things are. You can see the lesser trochanter and the iliopsoas tendon as guides. You divide the iliopsoas tendon by placing a kit around, open the blades, and, and just uh, release it, and it retracts proximally. And then you open the capsule anteriorly and extend it around posteriorly to include the transverse acetabular ligament. And then remove the obstacles, the ligamentum teres if you wish, and the pulvinar. And then you apply traction and you can reduce the hip. The next step is to find the position of the hip that provides the greatest stability of reduction. This is done by trial and error, triflexion, amount of abduction, rotation, and so forth. And this must be a safe position where there's no extreme positions uh, that may cause or increase the risk of AVN. And then one once this is in with your finger in the wound to make sure it's uh, centered well, may, uh, take an x-ray uh, that shows this with the position that's uh, found to be stable, and then you close the skin incision. Next, immobilize. Um, and you can do the other side if you wish before you, of course, go ahead with the cast. And the surgeon always holds the reduction, the position of that provides the greatest stability as we talked about before, while the in the assistant applies the spike of cast. Once the cast is on, take another x-ray and confirm by comparison with the previous x-ray that the, that the reduction has been maintained. The post-operative care is like treating a clo with a closed treatment if you should have been able to get it in without an operation and provide a cast for 8 to 12 weeks. You may require one cast change. You can use night bracing up to the age of three, which I've done. There's no proof that it's effective, but uh, it could help. And you take an annual pelvic x-ray to check for dysplasia. And should you find it, try to correct it bef before about age five by a pelvic, pelvic osteotomy, solid Pemberton procedure, plus or minus a, a femoral osteotomy, or whatever is necessary. We reviewed our series of 66 hip dislocations treated through this approach. This was published in the Journal of the Bone and Joint Surgery, uh, and uh, it was done uh, following our experience at Children's Hospital in Seattle. And I reviewed the literature more, fre more frequently, or recently, and found there was a variety of opinions about what should be done, and that's really be beyond the scope of our discussion. So in summary, 
Open reduction of DDA is necessary so close reduction fails. And the Ludloff procedure is simple and direct and appropriate for infants between 6 and 15 months of age. And bilateral dislocations may be reduced during one operative setting. And immobilize afterwards for 8 to 12 weeks after you would be doing if you had treated it closed. And follow annually to identify and then correct any residual dysplasia. Thank you very much for watching the video and please send any comments to staley at uw.edu.